from consumption curve derivation a prior knowledge about indifference curve and the price line is essential to understand this lesson the links for these topics are given in the description those who want shall view them income is one of the most objective determinants of demand indifference curve analysis gives a very comprehensive treatment to the influence of income on demand by using the tool income consumption curve we shall discuss the derivation of income consumption curve in this lesson given the income and prices of the two goods p1 l1 is the price line ic1 is tangent to p1 l1 at point e1 initially the consumer is in equilibrium at e1 he buys m1 units of good x and n1 units of good y as we are going to examine the effect of change in income on the quantity consumed of the two goods we assume the prices of the two goods do not change income alone is going to increase with an increase in income of the consumer the price line p1 l1 shifts to right the new price line is p2 l2 it is parallel to the price line p1 l1 it signifies there is no change in the prices of two goods the relative prices is also the same that is the slopes of the two price lines are equal the consumer is in equilibrium at e2 where ic2 is tangent to the price line p2 l2 he buys m2 units of good x it is greater than m1 he buys n2 units of good y it is also greater than n1 what is to be noted here is after an increase in income the consumer moves to a new equilibrium point from where he buys more quantity of two goods the increase in the purchase of two goods is purely because of an increase in the income of the consumer this is popularly known as income effect a change in quantity demanded due to a change in income is called income effect with the successive increase in income the price line moves bodily to right p3 l3 p4 l4 p5 l5 are such lines at each income level the consumer moves to a new equilibrium where corresponding indifference curves are tangent to the price lines e3 e4 e5 are equilibrium points at different income levels as income level increases he increases his purchase of good x to m3 m4 m5 and good y to n3 n4 n5 the smooth curve that joins all the equilibrium points is income consumption curve each point on the income consumption curve shows a certain level of income and the corresponding quantities of the two goods in simple terms income consumption curve traces the income effect in our diagram income consumption curve is sloping upwards this normally is the case but not always why not always please wait for my next video on income consumption curve as a tool to classify goods